Welcome friends. Today we are going to see about service register of school teacher. When we talk about service register, it is a book which is common to all the government employees including teachers. So today I am going to uh, explain how the service register play a vital role in a teacher's um, career or what are the important roles and what are the things should be updated in your SR. Same thing, who are the responsible for maintaining your SR. In the last session of this video, I am going to showcase 41 items should be entered in your SR. If you are a government employee, just check it out at the last session. If you have any doubt regarding this SR, please comment. Now we are moving to the first set. What is SR? SR is a formal record of teachers or employment registry history within a school or school district. So it's not just a teacher for all the government employees. We are following a register which record all your entities, all your actions from the appointment date. Why it is important? Maintaining accurate and organized data on teachers appointment, transfer, leaves and promotion. So all your activities regarding office are taken account in the register. It serves as a document for administrative purpose, performance evaluation and legal proceeding. Now we are uh, heard about the term RTI. So RTI if someone asking RTI about a school office or employers, all this data are taken legally or officially only by means of your SR. So SR play a vital role and it is very big evidence for uh, legal procedures. Next, what are the key information should be recorded in the uh, SR? First one is personal information. As you mentioned, your name, date of birth, gender, address and contact details, education qualification, your diplomas, degrees, employment details, your appointment date, designation, grade level, if you are a PG or a BT uh, science or a PG physics or you are a second degree age teacher, graduate teacher, trained graduate teacher, a special teacher or a PET, all these things should be mentioned in your SR. Then transfer and promotion, if you are transfer from one place to another place, all these things should be mentioned, transfer date, your seniority, all these things should be recorded in your SR. Then leave of absence, if you are taking leaves, what are the types of leaves, all these things should be recorded, except your casual leave, that means CL. So if you are going for a medical leave, EL, earned leave or uh, leave on personal affairs or maternity leave, all these things should be recorded with dates and with date, uh, reason, all these things should be endorsed by your DDO. Professional developments, if you are going for any, uh, even for any workshops, training programs, conference attends, all these things should be, can be maintained in your SR. Then performance evaluation, uh, a summary of past performance evaluation that can be recorded but in schools we are not going with the, uh, performance evaluation uh, because nowadays the SRs are uh, maintained in the form of digital. So in digital SR all these things are maintained. Then who is responsible for maintaining your regist uh, SR register? Typically the school administration or human resource develop, uh, department, mostly the school administration. If you are uh, working in a high secondary school of a government uh, sector, your HM will be the DDO. So uh, if you are working in a aided school, the, your secretary will be your, uh, in charge for your SR. So school administration head or institution administration head will be the uh, head who is going to responsible for your register. How it is maintained? Traditionally, it is physical register or in book. Nowadays, we are having electronic database that is called ESR, which I mentioned. Even though ESSR, uh, ESR is uh, popular, still we are maintaining our physical register in a format of book. Importance of accuracy and completeness. Ensures reliable data for decision making and reference. Regular updates and backups are crucial. So each and every six months we are going for uh, updation of your SR. All the employees, teachers should uh, take a look of your uh, SR uh, at least six months or one year once. 
have the chance to take a photocopy of your sr to check or verify where all the details are correct if it is any uh, mistakes are taken should be taken action by through your ddo then what could be the benefits of sr for a teacher it provide documented recorder for their professional achievements and contribution it support claim for promotion transfer and other career advancement so the promotion and transfer are mostly done by means of seniority whether it is a district seniority or state seniority all these things are taken the data only from your sr nowadays you are taking from esr or ms but it play a vital role so all these things should be uh, done properly for a school it facilitates uh, information decision making about staffing and resource allocation as i mentioned for rti and other stuffs they having a decision making all these things can be taken from sr enable tracking of teacher performance professional development whether the teacher is taking so much leave or whether she is sick all these things can be taken only by means of sr streamlining administrative process related to teacher employment so with the sr itself we can know whole history of the teacher so what with that the school administration will be going smooth so what could be the challenges and considerations first one is data privacy and security ensuring confidentiality and sensitivity of teacher information even though an rt is coming to the school or ddo that Uh, ddo should not enclose or disclose all the information of a personal details of a teacher so if they are asking how many uh, graduate teachers in your school that can be given but if the rt against a single person with his name or personal detail that cannot be enclosed even though all the details are endorsed in your sr access and control determining who can access the register uh and for what purpose so mostly office people will be uh, working with that the school office then with the secretary or your hm remaining other person who is working on it that should be controlled none other than other people except you standardization and consistency maintaining consistent data format and practice across different schools or district even though uh, a person is writing a say if a superintendent is writing a sr if the person is moving one school to another school that should be a unique format the format should be same uniformity should be main, uh, maintained to make the sr to work for a long period legal and regularity requirement adhering with the relevant data protecting and employment laws so same thing it should be protect all the data it should not be disclosed to anyone as a conclusion the service register play a vital role in the managing supporting and professional lives of school teachers not only all the uh, government employees by maintaining accurate accessible record we can ensure fairness transparency and effective administration within the education system so it giving the uh, transparency uh, with all the schools or uh, system same thing with the employees when you go for a seniority basis of uh, promotion all these thing taken by the sr if it is an sr esr it will be uh, very transparent to all the people let us continue to value the improve of uh, uh, service register as a valuable tool for fostering thrives supportive learning environment for all so it provide a vital role for all the uh, education staffs teachers and all the uh, government employees at the last i'm going to show you what are the basic information should be maintained in your uh, register especially for school teachers first one is your appointment order details with uh, endorsed uh, photocopy date of joining permanent addressed read that means qualification with the hall ticket number if you are uh, joined or if you got through the job with the help of an uh, qualification edu- uh, exam just like tet seated like that that should be endorsed then your molds that means identification service book eighth column employee signature and date so if you are in uh, tamil nadu the government says there is a jo that you have to sign in in your tamil so that sign and signature should be maintained thumb prints you have to put your thumb imprint in your 
Yes, sir. Then DDO signature of employee photo, employee photo and your photo. DDO uh, is nothing but drawing and dispersing officer. If you are working in a high secondary school, your HM will be your DDO. If you are working in a high schools, your uh, uh, secretary and Akran with uh, your DDO will be your DDO. Then incremental proceedings, proceeding for surrender leaves. So EL, how much you surrender like that? Group insurance scheme, CPS or uh, your uh, PRAN number, that means uh, CPS number, that is contribution pension scheme, earning leaves, half day leaves, salary losses, vacation verifications. Then LTCs other than hometown, LTC declaration, leave accounts. Half pay leave accounts that means uh, leave on uh, private affairs, pay fixation entries. If you are uh, sixth pay commission, seventh pay commission, each and every pay commission there is a pay fixation. All this should be entered in your yes, sir. Details of family members, including your nominee. If uh, you are in CPS or GPF, uh, who should be your nominee? Like that, you have to mention special grade increment. If you are having a special grade increment, that should be mentioned. Special pay entries, release entry during transfer so when you transfer all these things service verification entry i told you each and every six months there should be service verification entry provident fund account number pf number same thing each and every government they are having their own number uh, cost verification register employee id number treasury number registration of local status account then service is sorted by prohibition entries date of birth to write letters bona fide certificate if you are entered health card number nhis number your height weight and your medical fitness then paternity or maternity leaves maternity leaves we know in tamil nadu government they are allowing to take uh, 12 months uh, leave for maternity leave that should be up to two children same thing increments promotion details joining job First job type, other card number, your bank account, then your department test. If you have undergone any department test, all these things should be entered in your yes, sir. Okay, if you have any doubts, please comment in your uh, comment section. We'll clarify on it. Share with your friends. Thank you.